I'm now joined by Dr. Patty Abbott, Chair of NI2012. Dr. Abbott, thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you for inviting me. Dr. Abbott, you actually bid on this conference about six or seven years ago. You've had a lot of time to plan. What are you most excited about? I think what excites me the most about NI2012 is the um, vast number of applications that we got from very, very different areas of the globe. And it's going to be a fabulous conference and I think made all the more interesting by the fact that we're bringing in participants that we've never really had before. We have submissions from Nepal, from Iraq, from Iran, from Pakistan, from Qatar, a lot of areas of the globe that we've not really reached before. But we know that there are nurses, uh, nurse midwives, traditional birth attendants, um, community health workers that are all using informatics in that context and so we're just really jazzed about having them come uh, to share their work with us. So who do you want to see come to this conference? I think the attendees for the conference generally have been made up of uh, nurses in the past but I we have really pushed our, our committees have really pushed to say we really need to be looking at people, practitioners who are using informatics or information and communication technologies in the world of global health. So um, I would encourage anybody that is really working in this space, if you're working to improve the health of your community or your population and you're using information and communication technologies or informatics, or even if you just want to know about it, please come because we have a lot of diverse people that are going to be sharing what worked, what didn't work, and uh, creating great collaborative opportunities, I think, for people to get together and, and share our knowledge. Now there's educational opportunities and lots of opportunities to do training, but what's most important about that? I think that you can find almost anything you're looking for there. Um, but I do, I, I am very interested in um, some of the policy panels because we know that eHealth, mHealth is really being picked up by ministries of health all over the world. The Pan American Health Organization just rolled out with their eHealth strategy last year, which is having a, an incredible ripple effect across Latin America. And there's huge effort being uh, undertaken in Sub-Saharan Africa. And then, of course, through Europe and, and the U.S. and Canada and, and the rest of the world. And I think it's going to be a great place to learn about not only policy, but to get some hands-on experience and then again really to learn what worked and what didn't work because we don't have the resources to continually reinvent the wheel. This conference is really hemispheric in nature. You've got a regional approach, North and South America, being able to go to Montreal. Who do you most want to come out of that region? Providers, practitioners, anybody. It, it doesn't have to be just nursing and we're not seeing just nursing participating in here. We know from the World Health Report that 50 to 90 percent of all care provided around the globe is provided by non-physician practitioners. And we are trying to reach those groups because those groups of people, and they may not be nurses, mind you. I mean, the word nurse is interpreted many different ways around the globe. But we have traditional birth attendants that are doing incredibly fabulous stuff with cell phones, mm -hmm. mHealth. And so those are the sort of people we're saying, you don't have to be a nurse to come. You don't have to be an informatics expert. But if you in your practice are seeing this rollout of informatics, which I travel all over the world and I see it everywhere, please come and join us. Doctor, tell folks how they can get signed up for this. There's really not that much time left to sign up. No, there is not. So uh, the meeting will be held uh, next June of 2012 in Montreal. The call for papers is already closed and we've already, we're in the process now with our scientific program committee creating the program. But there is tremendous opportunity for people to still participate in many different ways in the meetings with workshops and tutorials in advance of the meeting. So you should go to the Nursing Informatics NI2012 website, which is located, you can branch to that off of the AMIA website, or you can Google it, just NI2012. Uh, I think the URL is also www.ni2012.org and all of the information is there. 
The room blocks are open now. Registration starts uh, on November 15th, which is just a few weeks away. Well, Dr. Abbott, thanks so much for being with us today. We really appreciate your time.